Apple introduced Stage Manager for the iPad in iPad OS 16. This is the most significant change to the way we work with Windows on the iPad. Currently, Stage Manager is limited to certain iPads, all 11-inch iPad Pro models, the 12.9-inch iPad Pro, third generation and newer, and the fifth generation iPad Air. In this video, we'll talk about how Stage Manager works and why you might want to use it. Let's get started. Stage Manager arranges your current apps into a strip on the left side of the display for quick access. Stage Manager isn't activated by default. Instead, you must turn it on through the Settings app or the Control Center. Using the Settings app, we'll go ahead and open the Settings app, and then you're going to choose Home Screen and Multitasking, and now you'll see Stage Manager, and it's listed as Off. I'll tap on that, and then you need to toggle the switch on next to Use Stage Manager on iPad. You also will see a couple of other settings here. And right here it says Recent Apps. If I uncheck that, you'll see that the recent apps on the left side of the screen disappeared. If I toggle it back on, now you'll see the recent apps that I last used. If I toggle off the dock, so, so what happens is the dock disappears and it arranges your, your apps in a little bit of a bigger configuration. So it's up to you whether you turn these features on or off. I prefer to leave them on. So I'm going to go ahead and check back on the dock. To activate inside the control center, you'll place your finger on the upper right corner of your screen and you'll swipe down to access the control center and then you'll locate the stage manager icon and go ahead and tap on it to activate it. Now, if you want to uh, use the settings for recents and dock, you go ahead and you push and hold on that icon and you'll have the options to uncheck recents and dock you also have the option to turn off the stage manager if you want to. Once stage manager is opened, go ahead and open an app and you'll see that your four most recent apps are listed on the left hand side of your screen with the display showing the app that you just opened. To deactivate Stage Manager, it's the same process reversed. So to use the Control Center, which I find to be the easiest, just swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen to access the Control Center, push and hold, and go ahead and turn off stand Stage Manager. You can also do this inside the Settings app. One of the key features inside Stage Manager is the ability to resize the app on the screen. And by doing so, you can bring some order to your iPad screen. So on the currently active screen, you'll want to push and hold on the indicator in the bottom right corner of the app. And you'll see it as I hover over it, it enlarges slightly. It looks like a little curve, black curve. So go ahead and push and hold and then drag the screen using the cursor to adjust the window to the size that you want it to be. When iOS 17 drops in the fall, Apple has plans to bring even more customization to the resizing of your apps. Most likely, you'll want to use more than one app simultaneously. This is possible through grouping apps with Stage Manager. To do this, you'll want to open the first app you want to group. So in this case, I have Safari opened. And then you can drag any app that you want from either the Recents, located on the left-hand side, or from the Dock. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a few and drop them on top of each other. 
And let me grab one more. And so now I have four apps opened in this particular group. I can resize those apps so that maybe they fit on the screen a little bit better so that I can see them all. and maneuver them as best as I can. So let's see if I can do it a little bit better. So now I think I have two, you know, one on top of the, each other. But anyway, you get the idea. So you can add your apps to groups. And if I, let's just open another app. Let me just see if I can open the settings app and see what happens. Now you'll see that you have some of your recent apps open on the left-hand side, as well as the group that you created. So I can go through and open any one of these apps, or if I choose to, I can tap on the group to go back in and work in that particular group. If you no longer wish to group apps, follow these steps. Tap on the app that you want to remove from the group. Choose the three dots at the top portion of the app. And now if you minimize it, it will remove that app from the group and drop it right back into the recents area. You also have the option to close this app. And once I do, it removes it. And now that app has been moved to the dock. So that's how you ungroup an app from your groupings. Now you're ready to multitask using Stage Manager. It may initially seem strange because we're used to working with one window at a time on the iPad, but try it. You may find it a much better way of working with your apps. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.